We have done two mega pops with the biggest one. We have done it with Balloon Incineration. And now what about the third path, in this case second? The pop and awe. Our wonderful journey in this path begins with the submarine. Provides multiple benefits early on in the game and would enable us to get money in order to get the artillery and strike a Jones. In the reverse order, that is. But also, we can so much support it so it doesn't get any pops later on. So let's get cracking. As soon as round nine hits, deploy Striker Jones anywhere you like. I prefer around this area just to clean up some balloons if a if sorry if they ever escape. Yes. And set a strong as well so that it targets the strongest most balloons. Yeah, I like that it's targeting the blue balloons first before red balloons, just because their speed and the amount of layers I have can be more important to consider than. The, uh, the first balloon itself, which actually could be a red balloon rather than, let's say, a green balloon or a yellow balloon or anything like that. By the end of round 12, we'll be able to deploy down our wonderful, our explodey boy mortar monkey. Let's see, 806. There we go. Now we got it. We'll put in a prime position down there so it's out of the way and all that jazz. So now that that can start popping, we're going to go towards the o 2 mortar monkey then one to o then we're going to think about getting some submersion support okay shocker jones gets to level four in round 16 which means the mortar monkey will increase the attack right by 10 percent if we didn't have striker jones at level 14 but level five is a big game changer makes all black balloons that also include so it includes zebra balloons less resistant to explosive damage from all monkeys now that we have bigger blasts we should concentrate on the submersion support you're making all the way over there but that is no problem the submarine will be able to clear you out just like that okay so we've got submersion support but let us unsubmerge it because we still need it in order to clear up some of these balloons because the mortar monkey on its own will not handle it balloon buster possibly okay now we need to submerge in order to decamo fire a balloon. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it submerged for the time being. Balloon Buster is here. And honestly, I think with these regrows, I'm not going to take any chances. Number one, they regrow. Number two, I don't want them escaping anywhere. Still being a regrow yellow by the time I get to the end of a track. Because that's not awesome at all. Next up will be Heavy Shells, which will further increase our attack rate and makes it so that it is ensured that we can pop black balloons so there we go you see the fire rate is increased now yeah both are stacking with uh striker jones and the rapid reload and all that jazz round 28 not a problem whatsoever we're gonna be aiming towards a 320 alchemist and then from there getting artillery battery in preparations for round 40. Put the alchemist in the furthest corner as possible so that it has no chance of being able to pop any balloons. Although the odd ZMG or BFB coming around here might still be affected by the uh, stronger acid and perishing potion. But it's not going to be able to fire it enough in order to make a big difference. Like perishing potions on two mega chimps is usually a big no-no because that takes away the fortified layer from non moab class balloon so your fortified ceramics will just become regular ceramics which is a big problem because that takes off a huge chunk of pops which could be the difference between getting too many pops with your desired tower or falling just short of it also you can see that the submersion support is going to town when it comes to the decamifying of these camo balloons well some berserker brews so that we get some extra damage and attack speed the uh, the dummy range does not equivalent to anything when it comes to the mortar monkey. This thing has unlimited range. I wonder if it could trade off range for certain towers for like blast radius or projectile speed. With pop and ore, I'm thinking that in the mid game it's going to be easier than trying to get to balloon incineration, but the late game. The balloon incineration will be far easier than the pop and all. Like we went for top path over bottom path because of damage, but also the blast radius of the mortar monkey itself. Like, yes, we're sacrificing accuracy, but 
when you fire so many shells it they are most of them are bound to hit the center point anyways let's see artillery, artillery battery is now up and operational so this is we're going to require some micro just like with the other artilleries that we have done so that we're able to land as many shells on the moab as much as possible hopefully that all made sense also we're going to be utilizing the concussion shell at some point so that we are able to utilize the additional damage on stun balloons but we'll also make sure that balloons that are stunned are within this little small square for as much time as possible or with zmgs anywhere around the map preferably not near the end though 420 alchemist and to be honest i've tried to do it so that it's at permabrew but to be honest the main thing that i'm after is the berserker sorry the strongest stimulant path and not the acidic mixture dip we will be sacrificing some fortified bonus damage but i think homeland defense is going to be a better option than permabrew in this case like rate of fire is what this thing excels at Speaking of rate of fire, we're going to be going towards jungle drums so that it gets a bit more of attack speed. Bunch of ceramics, no problem. Next up, we're going to be going towards a overclock so that we can increase the attack speed of our artillery battery even further. Round 49, a bunch of green balloons, a bunch of rainbow balloons, some ceramics and a few ceramic regrows or rainbow regrows at the very end oh, yes yeah, see rainbow yeah there's some rainbow regrows here an ideal round if you want to do a regrow farm very early on in the game okay the second mob coming out now we don't have our ability let's do a little bit of micro so you do a little bit more damage and that goes down so with the overclock in place we will not need to move this at all until round 60 when the first BFB appears on the track. This is the fire rate without overclock. This is the fire rate with overclock. And now with this ability, look at the amount of shells firing off. That's not on fast forward, by the way. This is fast forward. <laughs> okay, so what am I contemplating next? Um, I'm thinking Papa Noir's our next best thing left to do. And then we're going to be contemplating other options when we get Poppinor. The heavy shells enables great damage against ceramics, fortifieds, leads, all that kind of jazz. A lot of balloons with varying properties that makes it either harder to pop or enables it to have immunity to certain kinds of attacks if you like what you're saying then please by all means give this video a like leave a comment and if you haven't done so already subscribe so that you'll be able to see more videos like this in the future on flare balloons right around six years here and we're going to maneuver this again we're going to activate the ability so that our rate of fire and power per shell is even more and that just goes down like that yeah mid game is going to be very easy late game is going to require a lot of micromanaging not as insidious as balloon incineration micromanaging when it's shattering shells but still requires a bit of micromanaging concussive shell about and it does bonus stun damage as well these shells do so that's brilliant let's see a bunch of ceramics no problem whatsoever. Oh, there's a little bit of an issue, but I think that's when the um, stronger stimulant was just out of appliance for 100% of the time. See, none of them leaked that time. Or oh, some of them leaked there. Oh, dear. That's not good whatsoever. Let's see. There's a bunch of them. So we use the ability when... Actually, we use the ability when these fortified ones come. I think it'll be much more beneficial. Let's see. There we go. And apply overclock again. Lovely. If you're new to this channel, I do a bunch of two mega pop videos, some two tower videos. Anytime a new Paragon comes out, we try and get it so that we can get all Paragons at level 100 solo without mods. Without mods. I'm not one for mods. I'm not against mods, but I prefer not to use mods. I prefer to be basic, classic, intended by the devs sort of game. I think mods in their own ways are very creative, but 
I just prefer not to use them on the channel. I'm more for what the developers intend to do with the game. Even if I'm not particularly with the idea, I'm looking at you, Paragon Limit, at update 33, which frankly has been rectified. Or actually, at the very least, a compromise so that only in like boss events and races and stuff like that and certain challenges, there is a toggle in which how many Paragons you can have out at any given point in time, which is a very, very nice compromise. It's something which literally puts Ninja Kiwi in everyone's as good book. So in free play, you can have as many Paragons as you like, but in uh, certain uh, requirements there is a limit towards how many power guns you can get which is awesome we're just under 4k away from being able to afford pop and awe and its ability is globally but it does take away that focus point of where its shells are firing rather than uh, being globally although there are benefits and drawbacks to both uh, side of things yeah, I prefer the bigger explosions and more potent explosions over having explosions with the burning stuff and more accuracy. I just find that I'm able to deliver much more damage in a shorter space of time with that. So we're going to soon be able to have the popper on it's now here. And now each shell does much more damage, rains explosions over the whole screen, damaging and immobilizing all balloons for a few seconds. All artillery batteries do more damage to bads and boss balloons. Also, main attack gains additional bonus damage to stun balloons, which is where we're going to be utilizing Striker Jones's concussive shells. Still not going to need to use it, though, at this point in time. We're not desperately needing the additional damage. Yeah, I say this is brilliant for mid game, but late game, this is going to have a little bit of a struggle towards it. So now that we have that, we're going to get that guaranteed camo popping. We go to the MIB, not that it provides many benefits because of the fact that this is paired with Striker Jones and this is at level 13. But it's just very nice to have. Also, it's the pathway towards getting the homeland defense. Round 75 is here. I'm going to do a little bit of micro so we do that little bit of initial damage towards these. Then we're going to be placing this over here. The ceramics are going to go over there. Once all the ceramics pop, we'll move the cursor to the... Well, it's actually round 75. I thought there was going to be more F BFBs for some other reason, but it's this round where we get a bunch of grouped up BFBs. Yeah, fortified modes can be a little bit of a problem because of their speed and their fortified property, but we are not going to be worried about that at all because there is no need to be worried about it, actually. So, we're near that round 76, and that's where we're going to be using the bombardment ability. Let's see. There we go, and just wipe out the entire competition. See all this. Bye. Yep, that's the beauty of this ability. Also removes the oh, removes any uh, chance of regrowth from spawning, which is lovely. All it takes is one balloon to escape. One little pesky red balloon or higher to escape. And that's what it takes to lose a chimps gain. That is why sometimes the faster, weaker balloons are more dangerous than the slower but more bulkier balloons. Let's see. Bunch up ceramics? No problem. We'll be able to have the ability back when the second group of bunch up ceramics comes into play. Let's put that into play, then put that into play. Lovely. Hold it in place and the global bombardment ability is actually it was not even around 79 but there's some rainbows to pop there but i am not going to complain nonetheless yeah look at all these regrow rainbows just getting slaughtered this sort of square here is an absolute blessing on the sort hmm let's see now we're going to be using that just to stall them for a little bit we want the fortifies just to be that and we're taking a bit longer in order to get around the track. I don't know if that even made any sense or not, but in my head it does. Let's see, overclock while they're within the square. 
let's see, round 80. Without some microbe, this might be our first uh, round in which we're going to struggle with. Because per shell, this is very weak to deliver a lot of damage, but because of its rate of fire, it's able to deliver a lot of damage. So let's use concussive shell so that it gains bonus damage against stunned balloons. We're going to be getting some um, relentless screws later on for, again, applying for stunned balloons. But right now, we do not require it. We're going to get near the kill zone, which is lovely. And we're going to be using the uh, global bombardment ability when they turn into Moabs. Let's see, move the cursor down here. When it's all of them, so that it gets the ceramics as well. Uh, you know what, we'll do it now. And that's good. That's... Come on. There we go. I'm trying to show off a demonstration there, you kind of ruined it. Since these are kind of slow, we don't need to use overclock straight away. We can use it when they enter the kill zone and then go there. Hopefully we get called to arms. Our output of damage will be better with the 50% temporary, but very worthwhile attack speed increase. Let's see, stunned and that's 81 adjourned. Roundabouts. And there we have it. Oh. Come on, blue. You have to ruin that. You know what? I think we'll ruin micromanagers just a little bit. Just so that we'll get some initial pops underway. I do not want to ruin our chances later on just because of our shell. Let's see, quarter of arms is there. Lovely. Have two means of temporary but very worthwhile attack speed buffs. Let's see now. Shall we? No, we'll just use it straight away. Don't want to miss any chances with these. we we'll use that. And once we're all in the kill zone, we'll use the global bombardment ability. It's just it's called pop and all ability, so I should have just referred to it as that. Uh, super ceramics and super fortified ceramics and regrow ceramics, no problem. Sorry, super regrow ceramics. If you notice, sometimes when a balloon doesn't take any damage, when there is an explosion around it, and that's something called pierce, where if the explosion meets the pierce count, then any balloons that would normally be damaged may not be damaged whatsoever because of the pierce count being met. So damage alone is not everything. There's also the pierce, so that it can actually deliver that damage count in the first place. Okay, we're going to be using that because there are some leaky ceramics. We do not want to deal with leaks. No, thank you. I've had enough of leaks for one day. And I'm not referring to the vegetable leaks. Leaks as in other kinds of leaks and not water leaks. I'm referring more to cyber leaks. I'm not a big fan of Benjamin right now. Move this whenever you can. We're going to stack overclock with quarter arm several. We have two forms of attack rate increase going at the same time. We'll be stunning them. You see all that? All the scars of that watermelon forming. That's no good for the watermelon itself. There we go. You and your top hand gets disintegrated. Yes, I'm bringing out my Britishness with the British flag on our village and the top hats on every single balloon that spawns. I love it. The only thing that doesn't get the decor is boss balloons. So your, um, your vortexes, your dread balloons, your rock balloons, your lich souls, your liches, your balloonariuses. And anything that spawns out of them, like chained balloons or what do they call it for, that spawned out from a balloon area? It's not swampified or anything like that. But they are definitely tougher variants. Any rounds with just ZMGs on, it's just a fantastic time to let any abilities that have yet to um, cool down and be back in action. Cool down and be back in action. Like they just move so slow, which is a lovely thing. 
but there's only a few exceptions where you would want a balloon to move quickly and mainly that's due to the prince of darkness because of his graveyard counter but we're not here for the graveyard we're here for the bombardments sorry bombardments bombardments I don't know, I keep mispronouncing stuff and it's annoying, I understand that. I can only imagine how annoying it is every time I mispronounce something. When it should be something else, like Moab Eliminator rather than Eliminator. <laughs> I keep making that mistake every single time and I do apologise. Because someone did comment on that and I understand what you're coming from. I do apologise for that. Let's see, let's divide and conquer these things just like an ETN word. Let's divide and conquer these so that we don't have to deal with all these fast ones simultaneously we can deal with these independently let's deal with that let's deal with that call to arms excellent we dealt with those lovely oh hello uh let's keep as umg as it is it's critically damaged but let's just deal with these sometimes the ogs in their own ways are really annoying because of how much bulk they have on them Let's see. Okay, so Striker Jones kind of dealt with some of those lingering balloons, which is lovely. Ooh, that pink balloon. It was a little bit frightening there, because I don't like pink balloons because of how fast they go. The only thing more frightening than a pink balloon is a Moab class balloon that goes at the same speed as a pink balloon. I'm looking at you, goddamn shark DDTs. If you're going to be killed by a DDT, they may as well look like they are going to kill you as well in the form of a shark. And besides the MGs at this point in time, there is no, all of the female class balloons have a fish sort of skin to them. We are eight, well, just under 19k away from the homeland defense. It lasts longer than quarter of arms and provides many more of the attack speed increase which is lovely we not yet needed to use striker jones's set second ability sorry which resets the cooldown of any moab assassins moab eliminators artillery batteries and the pop and all we have not needed to use that at all yet which is lovely, because that means we won't need to rely on it as much if we can just just use it and then spread out our usage of it. Okay, so when ceramics leak like that is a little bit of a concern. <gasps> you got to be kidding me. Pink balloons? That was a moment where the pop and all ability would have come in handy. I haven't had the best of weeks, if you know my weeks so far from one of my community posts, so... I'm a little annoyed about that, but that uh, community post was only relevant at that point of time in the recording phase. But, yeah, annoyed. Because that was a stupid mistake that I made that could have easily been avoided if I were to just be a bit more confident with using the abilities. Why does the doggy appear underneath the bench rather than over the bench? Mind those balloons there, doggy. You're a good boy after all. Or good girl. You're a good doggy regardless. Right, we're back at round 88. It hasn't taken me another, what, 20 or 25 minutes to get back to this point. But regardless, we are back here. And hopefully we won't make the same mistake again. And we'll be more confident about using our pop and our ability in order to remove some of those lingering balloons that are likely to escape the map. I literally thought the explosions would handle it, but no, we need more. We need even more explosions for this occasion. Some more global explosions from the pop and all. Let's see. Let me use pop and all, actually, just so we inflict a bit more damage. Keep on going we'll get our revenge this time i feel it i feel it everywhere on me unspecified all right there we go call to arms active concussive shells was active and there we go round 89 let's see this is the round before the ddt spawn in and honestly I really am feeling the pop in our ability because of all these fortified BF... So, fortified <laughs> Moabs. These are deadly in their own ways. They're fast. 
Let's see. They go down really well. We will save you the ability for around 90 with pop and all ability. Just keep microing this. Use concussive shell there. And okay, won't get the pop and all back, but concussive shell will come back. That's brilliant. And there we go. Have it so that the concussive shell hits all three of them while they're within that small square. It's very handy. Well, there's a huge bunch of BFBs there. I'm also thinking that pop and all ability will be very handy at some point during this round. Using that, using that one under quarter arms, overclock, and you know, I'll just use it for safety keeps. And 92. Oh, this could have been a better use for it actually, but we're gonna stick with this and go with it. Hmm. If we're going to, need to reset the ability, we will do. But let's try and do this without resetting. Save that. And then many minutes later, I'll end up regretting it. We're not going to... Oh, we might end up regret... No, I'm not... Okay. Why the hell did my computer decide to select the Alchemist rather than selecting the Artillery Battery? Okay, let's reset that round. I don't want my Alchemist involved in this at all, besides buffing up the pop and all artillery. Thank you very much. Yeah, so let's just do some initial damage here and there, and then we'll go about our way. When his eyes are bruised, that means it's close to being popped. Alright, let's divide and conquer these, as Etienne would, would configure anyways. Let's see. Do that. Okay. They are... Okay, I'm going to put it up here just in case there are any ceramics, but it doesn't have that ceramic stand. Oh, we're going to need to... Yeah, we're going to reset it. We're going to reset it. I'm not wasting any opportunity whatsoever. Fire at will. That's doing that, but they're still making it very far. Fortifies. Do not do anything to me. Pl oh my... God. Yeah, I'm going to restart this round again. There's so many fortified ceramics making it across the map. We're going to be delaying the homeland defense, but I feel like this relentless glue is going to make the difference when it comes to this scenario because these fortified ceramics are really annoying me at the moment because of their speed and everything like that. So stick them like that. They slow down and once they're popped, they will be stunned. The stun is so cool for damage and all that jazz. There we go, quarter of arms. None of the ceramics are escaping, which is lovely at this point in time. Watch as an invisible ceramic just makes its way to the end of the track. I don't know, I'm just imagining things here and there because I have all the time in the world right now with all these shells firing down onto the ground. Let's see, calls for arms again. Overclock at some point again. Hmm. Yeah, I think pop and all will be handy here. Then we reset it around 93 for when the DDT has come along. Those are wonderful. I mean, pesky DDTs always get in the way at some point. Let's see. Concussive shell. Pop and all ability. There we go. Yeah, stunning them whilst... I had pink balloon escape flashbacks there when that pink balloon just went to the top right. No, thank you. I do not want any more nightmares revolving a pink balloon. Thank you very much. I've had enough of those for one day. Let's see, round 92. Round 93 is here. Target that BFB. No, target that DDT. Thank you. Target that DDT. There we go. Let's see. Only once they are within the decamification status, or not just not being camified at all, then we can apply that to that. Okay. Overclock. Pop and all soon. Yeah, there we go. We should have used it then and there. We're not wasting any time. Let's shatter those layers down as much as we can. And that is round 93 adjourned. Lovely. Yeah, the resplendent screw is making all the difference. Lots of microing or to deal with these pests. No more pink balloons, please. I'm gonna leave that over here somewhere. Great work. Um Zebra, okay, so not as Oh 
Okay, I'm rising now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just use it. We'll use it, and then we'll reset the abilities once round 95 hits. But I'm not taking any chances. Oh, should have placed it over there, actually. Uh, this is really scary. Quarter arms. Nearly a homeland defense. Nearly another 7k. Bloody hell, another pink balloon there. Let's see, can we get this up in time for round 95? It'll take a while for the DTs to spawn out, but once they spawn out, they're freaking fast! Fast as one would say, boy! There we go, concussive shell, delays their arrival... Let's see... Um, yeah, we're gonna use it now. Let's take away some of that HP on those. Concussive shell again... Yeah, we're nearly there. The relentless glue with glue splatter has been an absolute blessing. Will you stop talking, Striker Jones? Okay, just provide the artillery battery of all of your benefits, please. And stop talking about target rat, BFB, target rat, ZOMG. Alright, we will target eventually. Just not right now, okay? We've got more smaller fish to fry here. And literally fish to fry. Okay. Oh, we've got, we got Homeland Defense money now. Lovely. I wonder how many of you have been staring at thinking, Hey man, buy that Homeland Defense, okay? you got the money for it now, man. Okay, we won't be using it until round 98. Actually, we'll use it now. We can use it now. Yeah, let's just get that fire rate and damage up. Let's see. Uh... Ability now increases attack speed and pops. Does pops in induce pierce or damage per, well, shell in this case? Let's see. Use both of those. Concussive shell again. Oh, a lot of those look like they're about to leak. And I'm not talking about the vegetable kind of leak. Wait, did some of those get invisible? I hope not. I don't like invisibility. The only kind of invisibility I like is Geraldo's as invisibility potion. Let's see. Put that there. Stall all those. They're getting through. Back on round 96. See if there are any more invisible yellow balloons that are going to just magically appear to ruin my day again. The first defeat was totally my fault. The second one was complete stupidity by the game. I'm calling it the game. I'm not calling it me, even though it most likely is me, for goodness sake. So, yeah, so that's where we are at in the stage of the game. Let's see. I'm going to see how long I can last before I'm going to use the pop and our ability. Utilize it as much as we can so that we get as many layers down as possible as we can. Call to arms again, which I should have upgraded to Homeland Defense. And we have the entire thing under control. But then again, I probably said something similar last time. When we was around the scenario where we just had these ZMGs left. And then everything else inside as well. So that's all good fun and games. Homeland Defense active. Overclock active. Are we going to fire at will or just go along? You know, we'll just do that. Pop all of them. And there we go. Yeah, the ceramics make it a good way, even though the entire field is filled with artillery fire. But alas, fortified ZOMGs is our next tricky challenge here just because of the amount of RB each of them have which is going to be very very interesting although in regular chimps this is the only round in which fortified ZMGs ever spawn on let's see now they are going down quite nicely not going to be using Popanor actually we will use Popanor just to give a bit more damage off do that Concussive shell, and yep, we are on round 98 now. And this is where the majority of the pops lie within the game. Let's see, those are going there. I wish this would have a feature where the ability would focus on a fortified balloon rather than just like the strongest balloon, just straight up. Basic concussive shell again. 
uh, uh, sorry, overclock, then homeland defense, use Popanol about resetting the ability. Going there. Oh, the concussive shell is doing great work, yes. Use that, use that, reset it. And shall we reuse it or try and save it for round 99? Ooh, that's a little annoying. No more of those, please. Let's see. Any invisibles? I don't think so. Oh, it's probably too far on the track. Uh, yeah, we'll use it now. I'm not risking anything because of these abominations. Let's see. We are there. Okay. Without the help of the Popinar, we may struggle against these DDTs. But I think we're making good work of them. Especially... Oh, um, yeah, that's going to be a bad oven if that's ever one let's see um no more surprises please let's see yellows mm. oh okay where did that other balloon go i did not like that one bit okay um we're gonna turn off auto start and a lonely little red balloon Oh wait, so... Okay. We've got 21k to spare. So what can we use for 21k on in order to help us out? So I'm thinking of a... Moab Assassin to help us out there. Next up, I'm thinking we need... I don't think we can afford another overclock in order to keep the uh, speed increase going. So what else can we deploy down? A ninja sabo later on will help. And I'm thinking of an additional relentless glue. I think over here so that if any DDTs make it this way, then they will meet the fire of that. So glue gunner here, relentless glue there. And let us crack with this final round of this challenge. Hopefully this really a hundred will never face. Let's see. Do that, lovely. Look at that firepower. Target that big, huge one. Yep, that's a big, huge one, all right. Let's do that. It will come back once the bad layer's been removed. Let's see. I'm doing a huge amount. We don't need to use the Saba yet because it is useless against the bad. We cannot use it against a bad to slow it down because nothing slows down a bad. Nothing stops the endless onslaught of a bad balloon. The whale is going down, although if there's any fish in the sea that would have this much health, then it would be a bloody big whale. Let's see now. Anything else that we can use at this point in time? We're gonna say, oh, but you assassin again, lovely. Just trickle it down so we get to the ZMGs and DTs just a bit sooner. A little bit sooner. A little sooner. Overclock and homeland defense stacked. Hopefully it should be soon, actually. Got it hovering three, so, sorry, hovering over three. There we go. And that doing that lovely yeah we're gonna meet two million no doubt it's just a matter of surviving let's just use the assassin so that these just slow down a bit more and the concussive shell so they take a bit more damage yeah let's just reset the ability just in case we don't want anything bad to happen on the final round here even though it is most likely, most likely will be because the game loves to give us surprises if you don't know already okay so not taking any chances and uh, yep we are done as you can see two million and twenty four thousand pops that is a pop and all third time's the charm and we got this near basic bitch ass dark monkey i say near because it's zero one one but dark monkeys are as basic as you can get so let's see total damage two million forty two thousand six hundred twenty nine 
Not sure if there's a exact number or if we allowed one of them to regrow there. It's quite possibly the case. Not sure if it ends on an even number or an odd number if you don't let any regrows appear and if you don't take any balloons. So let's say Benjamin's level th level 3 ability can take away balloons and Azili's Merb Hex ability can also take away pops as well. So that's all fun in game. So this we didn't need. I, I, I thought of this because of some insurance policy. Like, maybe the Relentless Glue is probably not enough in order to store them when they come along this top row here. Homeland Defense did a lot of work. Overclock did a lot of work. Merb Assassin trickled the damage down just enough so that the bad layer pops out a bit sooner. Ninja Sabo slowed them down a lot, a lot over here. Like, I think we could have traded this for a Snowstorm when the bad layer was popped and that would slow them down even more. Like, Pair it with Concussive Shell, with Ninja Sabo, with Relentless Glue, and, oh, I've already said Concussive Shell, and also there's Papa Noir as well, which keeps going off as well, which is strangely satisfying to see. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.